Welcome back everyone to the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video here on Wednesday evening and a busy afternoon it turned out to be today. Uh, we had some severe thunderstorm warnings, we had some isolated uh, reports of wind damage, we had quite a bit of rain in some spots. We're going to review all of that before we look forward to some changes over the next couple of days. Six hour rainfall totals as of about 10 after 7. We've done pretty well in a lot of our central and northern viewing area today with many places picking up at least an inch worth of rain. Um, now, the places that picked up the least amount of rain, uh, essentially southern Columbiana County, um, but even there, uh, some of us did have some downpours late this afternoon and into early this evening. And I mentioned a, a scattering of wind damage reports. The uh, Storm Prediction Center today with their midday update did, a, did kind of introduce a slight risk, a level two area, uh, as far as the uh, severe weather risk. Uh, and that was a good move. Uh, that risk area was defined as Northeast Ohio, Northwest PA, Southwest New York, and we did indeed have uh, enough gusty winds in those afternoon thunderstorms today to uh, produce some, some wind damage here and there, um, especially in Trumbull County. Now, as of this recording, a little after seven, what's left is pretty garden variety and we no longer have a severe weather threat, but we'd have a little bit of lightning and thunder and some downpours still around Austin Town and heading back towards uh, the western part of Mahoning County and into northern Stark County as well. It's still raining down towards East Liverpool, but again, all of this is fairly benign and actually the rain for most of us is pretty good news. And speaking of good news, cold front is heading our way. Now at this time of the year when we talk about a cold front, we're usually not talking about a big uh, air mass change in terms of the temperatures. It's the moisture content of the atmosphere. And so that's what we expect this time around. It's pretty good, uh, a pretty well-defined cold front heading our way by late tonight and into uh, tomorrow morning. Right now, that front is probably about right here. And so you notice the dew points have dropped into the lower 60s in Detroit and Lansing. But look at Marquette, way up here. This is the kind of air that's going to start keep keep bleeding south tonight and into tomorrow and so I expect our dew points to drop really really nicely during the second half of the day on Thursday. Did you uh, check this out? Did you see this in your you know uh, your travels online perhaps over the last couple of days? We've set a couple of records this week as far as global surface air temperatures. We set an all-time record a couple of days ago and then it was broken the very next day on the uh, 22nd which was let's see that would have been Monday. Um, the global surface air temperature record. Now a lot of this is because Antarctica is especially warmer than average right now and that sort of tilted the entire planet's numbers. Uh, but still, you, of course, this is a long-term trend. It's no big, big secret, of course. And even the very warm year of 2023, which is the orange line on this graphic, you can see we've been running above that almost every day in 2024. So this year has been even warmer than last year, which of course was a very, very warm year. Globally, the high altitude wildfire smoke, it made for a little bit of haze in the sky this morning. This is way up there in the atmosphere. You can't smell it. And this isn't uh, degrading our air quality here locally like we had so many times last summer. But as our cold front continues pushing to the south tomorrow, whatever haze and high altitude smoke is up there tomorrow morning um, should be out of here by the afternoon. I think it's just going to be just delightful outside tomorrow evening as those dew points drop. But we have one more morning where fog may be a concern tomorrow morning, especially in areas that had a decent amount of rain today. There could be some patches of low visibility at the start of the day Thursday. There could also be a shower in a couple of spots Thursday morning as our cold front continues pressing southward. But after that, we should be in pretty good shape. The dew points will hold steady in the 60s for a while, but towards afternoon into the evening, especially the dew points are really going to crash down through the 50s. We might even touch the upper 40s by later on Thursday evening into the overnight and air temperatures by Friday morning at daybreak. Could be in the lower 50s. It's going to be very, very comfortable to kick off the day on Friday. So not much to show you on Futurecast. Once our front leaves the area, high pressure just sort of drops an anchor as we go into Friday in the weekend. And that means lots of sun, hardly a cloud in the sky, both Friday and Saturday. We should stay dry into Sunday. Now, next week, I think is a pretty active week, particularly perhaps during the first half of the week. This is today's six to 10 day outlook from the uh, Climate Prediction Center showing pretty decent odds of above average precipitation at the end of July in the start of August across the lower Great Lakes states, the Ohio Valley as well. Specifically next week, I do think that Monday and Tuesday could be pretty stormy, even into parts of Wednesday perhaps. And some of our modeling actually keeps the kind of stormy weather around through the tail end of, of next week as well. The general pattern, I talked about this on Weather for Weather Geeks earlier on this week, 
that ridge out west is going to allow for thunderstorm clusters to kind of descend and you know the prime area i think for severe weather maybe just off to our west but nonetheless rain chances at least will be elevated i think in our part of the country for a time next week uh so uh good news perhaps for those who still have thirsty lawns not so good news if we see too much rain at one time but we'll talk about that in more detail of course tomorrow evening and uh, you can look forward to of course lots and lots of weather updates on all our social media outlets you can find me on all these outlets that i have listed here i don't have threads on here i'm on threads if you're uh, on threads part of the you know facebook and meta meta uh you know uh, kingdom at this point uh, threads is kind of their version of twitter so i'm on there i'm on youtube of course mo most of you are watching on youtube facebook x instagram i'm even on tiktok even though i haven't posted much lately when the weather is noteworthy i will get on to tiktok and post some videos there so if you're uh, on any of those social media networks make sure you're following me make sure you're following all the storm tracker 21 accounts as well thanks for watching on this wednesday evening i'll see you right back here on thursday for an update on friday the weekend and much much more